hell of a thing. A police officer uh, being a coward decides to shoot and kill a golden retriever who's simply being playful. Uh, I want to go to the video first. Here it is. All right. Let's put up the. Uh, yeah, let's put up the video. Do we have the video? Okay. In the viral video, we have the screenshots. The officer is seen being approached by one dog before it runs off. Seconds later, another dog runs to the officer. He is then seen wielding his gun and firing multiple shots at the golden retriever. Once again, the golden retriever was not attacking anybody. The golden retriever was not attacking the officer. The golden retriever was doing what golden retrievers do. They get excited when they see human beings. They get excited, they like them. And he decided to do the unthinkable. Um, Dixie was the name of the golden retriever, a three year old retriever that died of his injuries. Since the incident, a petition has now been launched for the removal of the accused police officer, whose name is Elliot Palmer. The petition has so far reached over 31,000 signatures. Let's put up the officer involved. The officer is heard on the video calling in more police assistance due to the number of people in the area. The woman is heard screaming at the officer stating the dog was harmless and requesting his name and badge number. Palmer has since been placed on administrative Leave. Rally held in the town for Dixie. Let's put it up. And you see the townspeople. Well, there you have it. There is an ongoing investigation. Um, I will say this uh, an officer who is so trigger happy. That he goes into a community and decides to simply start shooting at a playful dog, kills him, okay? Community obviously comes outside and says, what the hell did you just do? Instead of understanding the position he has put them in, he then calls for backup as if he needs more cops to come and shoot people now. There is a community outcry because you know people care about their pets, I care about mine. But what happens beyond this moment? Is there an exhaustive investigation into other possible situations of misconduct? What we have seen routinely is that an officer who engages in this manner never really engages one time like this. It is usually connected to historical misconduct that must be reviewed, exposed, and investigated as well. I encourage the people of that community to not stop with just the pet who unfortunately died. There may be some unarmed black men in his past as well. All right, sharing thoughts. That's where I was going to doc. This man is dangerous. He's a dangerous perpetrator who needs to be off the streets. He treated the dog perhaps better than he would treat a black man. And it's disgusting. What we saw in the video is disgusting, okay? He's a wimp and a coward. That part, exactly.